Hi right, everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. This week's video is pretty short, but it's just a quick review of a mouse. I'm just going to touch on what it is and how well it works, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing much to it. Um, I have the new Razer 5G, I don't know why they call it 5G, I guess it's just everything wants to be called 5G today and it works faster or better. Or if you have a new phone, it just consumes data more, which is what everybody wants to have. So anyway, we're getting into it. This is the Razer Viper. So we're going to get in. We're going to discuss some of the details. I'm going to show you how well it works. And for me, it's been working amazing. And I mean, my other mouse would stutter and I never knew what was going wrong. thought it was my system for a while. Turns out it was my mouse. So... We have, a, and that is a wired mouse, it's not wireless. The uh, other one was wired too, but it made no difference. So we're going to show you how well it works, what some of the settings are, and that's pretty much it. So here we go. Okay, so this is our Razer Viper Advanced Optical Sensor, which is on the bottom here. All right, you can change your settings. Okay, you can change your DPI with this button here. You have on the side, you've got your forward or back buttons and you've got a couple buttons you can use on the right hand side and of course your scroll wheel and your left and right mouse buttons. You can change your colors, you can have it static, however you like it. It's ambidextrous so it's good for both left and right handed people and some of the great features it has is 69 grams uh, lightweight design has razor optical mouse switches and it has a speed flux cable oh, oh, oh speed flux cable i have no idea what the heck that means and i really don't think it makes any difference at all it has a true 16,000 dpi but you know that's all nice people uh esports players use it but how does it really work we're going to get it on the screen i'm going to do a screenshot screen capture rather and we're going to show you how it really works okay so i just wanted to show you a little bit more about this so of course you've got your optical actuation which is of course just pressing down on the mouse has eight programmable buttons has the uh, as i said a razor speed flux cable so basically it says it's for minimum drag and smooth control i don't know if it really makes much difference has your 5G optical sensor for precision accuracy, and I really do find that that makes a difference. It's ultra fast response, I can attest to, and of course, 69G lightweight design for swifter, more controlled swipes, which I will show you on the screen. Has onboard DPI storage, so you can set it to your own personal settings. So I just wanted to show you that and make sure you could see it. Okay, so. This mouse is controlled with what's called the Razer Synapse. So right now they call the Razer Central, whatever you want. So you go to your Razer Viper, click on it, and it's going to show you the profile. It's going to show you all the different uh, buttons. So you got your left click, scroll. Okay, it has your cycle up sensitivity. All right, so that is on the bottom, of course. And you can change all this and your performance to have your different DPIs. And you can change it on the bottom too, but I find this is a little more helpful to me. And you have your polling rate of a thousand. And yeah, pretty much in here you can change your lighting. Okay, so you can have all your different, and of course you can do your calibrations. Uh, default calibration is what I've done so far and your customize is if you want to customize your colors so right now it's on right-handed but you can also do left-handed because it is an ambidextrous mouse uh, performance is already set up for the way I like it and uh, I may play with that a little bit more but we'll get to that but let's go with lighting so we're gonna go advanced effects Oh, sorry, I want to go quick effects. Chroma Studio. So you can win here and you have to choose what it is you're doing. So you have to click on your mouse. 
All right, you see as I click on it, this is changing. So I can change the color of this to be it red or orange or whatever I want it to be. Or like I say, the way I had it was just cycling. So you can go over here, you've got all your different effects, spectrum cycling, and it'll change all the different colors as you go. Or you can have it as static, whatever you want. All right, so this is where everything's gonna get done. So if you want to just do your mouse, you can go in here, save the chroma effect. So it says your changes have not been saved. Would you like to change them? I'm not going to change that. So I don't really want to uh, save anything. So I'm going to just go cancel. But I just wanted to show you how this is set up a little bit. I mean, I'm not going in depth. But it's just more of an idea of how it works and what it does. And being able to go back, just don't, don't save. You can change your brightness up here and you can customize it. So if you want to go to this, you can change your function through here. So you can have your different macros set up. Okay, switch your profiles, all that kind of good stuff. So a Razor Viper is right here on the left hand side and it gives you all its dimensions, grip width, height, and of course the length and the weight. It's not ex including the uh, cable, which of course is excluding cable. But I wanted to compare it and show you the Viper Ultima, or Ultimate, and Viper Mini. Okay, just so you can see the differences. All right, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so one of the things I also want to point out is the fact that the Razer Optical Mouse Switch, um, it's a laser. It's not uh, a mechanical switch. So of course with an infrared light beam, it's gonna register the click. It's gonna be very precise. Uh, as you can see, it says a response time of 0 0.2 milliseconds. Uh, and so it's an instant actuation that eliminates debounce and unintended clicks. So it's gonna give you complete control and execution. Yes, I am reading it off. But basically you don't have a part, mechanical part that's gonna break down on you and it's gonna last longer. And at the price premium of some of these mice or mouses or whatever you want to call them that's a good feature to have you want it to last long so you get your money's worth and you definitely will with this being able to choose your optical setting your dpi sensor settings um, you're going to be able to have full control uh, it's very precise so, so when i move it around i can center anywhere in the r here Okay, you see how I can move it just even little increments. So if you're gaming and you're doing uh, first person shooters, um, it's going to be amazing. All right, everybody. So that's just a quick overview of the mouse. It's a mouse. It's a great mouse. Works fantastic for me. Um, there's no stuttering. Um, the other mouse I was using, uh, it would be jerky and moving around the screen. And, and I just couldn't seem to center on what I wanted to aim at or, or wanted to do like especially in first person shooter games um, this is completely smooth moves fast if my hand can move that fast the mouse corresponds to it first mouse i've had that actually does that can't speak high enough about it price is around 80 bucks um i think i actually got it for a little bit less than that i think it was on a sale i think it was around 60 bucks which is a phenomenal deal for that particular mouse so just to keep that in mind so anyway, if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Leave me a comment if you got any questions or anything maybe I left out. Hit that bell for future notifications uh, to see videos as they come up. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day.